would have thought that build about added fabric to the game without anyone realizing? Well, it's not just something you can place, but you can easily make it. And all you need to build it is a bunch of wires. Now, currently, I have about 300 of them, so you know what? I think I might need a little bit more, so I'm gonna buy an extra 600. I think that should be enough. So now that we have that, let me show you how to build it. And actually, it's gonna be insanely simple. I'm just gonna place like four blocks, just like so, with a bar that's gonna go a little something like that. And that right there is the entire basis of how you can make fabric. Now, in a little bit, we are gonna have to change these settings. And actually, the smallest number that you can make the length on one of these blocks is gonna be two. So when we do that, it would get that small, which is pretty freaking tiny. But actually, most importantly, that means that our fabric is going to be exactly two blocks tall. So actually, we're going to move this entire thing off the ground a little bit and let's start working on it. Now, because we are making fabric, I'm going to use fabric blocks because you know what? It is literally the only thing that even makes sense. And actually, for some reason, the fabric blocks, you really can't give them a good color. So I'm actually going to use plastic instead. Is what an idiot would say, because if you didn't know, when you build anything with collision, you want a lot of weight. So actually, instead of using plastic, I'm going to use metal blocks, which are almost the same as plastic, but just a lot heavier. And actually, I'm going to move these blocks inside of the other blocks, just like so. And actually, because I'm really curious to see how this works, I'll make sure you can still see the bars. All right, then here we go. Let's try this out. I am so curious to see what happens. Let's drop it. Oh, 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 wait, half of them dropped. Wait, wait, what? Most of these weren't even connected. Okay, something definitely went wrong. Yeah, let's try that one more time. I think this time, yeah, okay. This time it actually managed to work. Now, actually, what is happening right now looks a little bit weird, but that's because our settings are completely wrong. We actually want to make sure that our length is set to the minimal possible, which is going to be two, which already pulls everything way closer together. And actually, I'm going to set the angle limit to zero for now. So, okay, right now it just looks like a pole, but I'm very curious to see if I pull on this thing with like a harpoon, what is going to happen? Because I am pretty sure that this material, it will, oh, okay. <laughs> It actually really does not like me doing that. Uh, I think I might have used the wrong settings here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the blocks need to have collision turned off. Pretty much the higher you make the angle limit, the more loose the fabric gets. And actually, when you get all the way down to like 90, that's when it's pretty much just a floppy mess. But I think the biggest problem is, is that we currently have only created a single string of fabric. And of course, if you have a real fabric like my clothes right now, you want to have a lot of these. So to make this happen, we're going to start going in another direction. So there you go. Oh, dude, that is looking so cool. And actually, one thing that I messed up earlier is that I also want to have bars going in the other direction. So that way, you know, it actually has some structure to it. All right, that right there should be our entire piece of fabric done. Now, I'm really curious to see how this will actually work. And to do this, I'm going to unanchor everything except for the corner. So drop it. Oh, 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 okay. It's acting a little bit weird because currently it is set to a very loose setting. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> dude look at it go. It's like fabric -y stuff. Now, currently all of this stuff still has collision. I'm pretty sure we want collision to be off. And dude, that is crazy. That is literally moving like fabric. Okay, you know what? There is one ultimate test that we're gonna have to do to see if this is really working the way that I think it is. And that is to shoot this thing with a cannon. I think it will explode. Okay, wait, currently collision's off. Collision enabled. Let's see. Boom! Oh yeah, dude. And it's just like, it's just slightly swaying around right now, dude. That looks so good. What if I drop the whole thing? Drop the whole thing? Oh my God, dude, this is working so well. And you might be wondering right now, what are some of the things that you could make with this? So let me show you all of the craziest uses I could think of. Starting off with what might be the coolest use case of them all, using them to make sails on boats. I think this is gonna look absolutely amazing. But before we can do anything, we're gonna actually have to delete our current sails, which I spent a long time on these. So this is very sad, but I think we're gonna get a massive upgrade so it's all right dude it looks so weird not having sales like it, it looks wrong dude all right so here is gonna be my very first piece of fabric and actually so far it's looking a little bit strange but i think when this comes together it will look absolutely amazing now the way this is all connected is actually quite simple pretty much exactly what i did before but the way we're gonna have to connect this is gonna be a little bit funky all right so first off we're gonna have to move this down a bunch oh my god is it even gonna oh my god it literally barely fits oh my god <laughs> All right. And I think with that, it's about time that we actually try this out and see if it actually looks like the fabric like I hope. And right, so here we go. First off, we're going to drop it. An anchor. Ah! Okay. It, 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 
It looks very strange, but so far so good. Now, one of the things I am going to do is I'm going to turn off match rotation because that should make it look even more natural. And actually, if it looks really messed up like it is right now, I can always turn it off later. So here we go. Let's make it a little bit shorter Two. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, wait, these are currently a little bit too tight, so I'm gonna make these like five. Oh my god, dude. Wait, that is actually moving like fabric! Oh my god! Wait, that is not what I was expecting. Wait, it looks amazing! Just look at how that is moving. That is moving exactly like how you would imagine fabric to move, dude. That is just amazing. And actually, I am really curious to see how this will look when I make this boat move. So you know what? Let's freaking do it. Oh my God, dude. When you set off into the water, like it's like, like it's fabric, dude. What do I... What do you expect? It looks amazing. And actually, when you see this fabric on every single mast, I'm convinced that in the future, pretty much everyone is going to be building stuff like this exactly in this way. But actually, this right here is very far from the final use that this mechanic actually has, because I'm pretty sure with it, we can actually make slingshots. So you know what? Let me try building one. So first off, we're going to have to create a giant piece of fabric. And like I said, this one, it's going to be gigantic. All right, let's see if this is actually even going to work. An anchor. Ah! Okay, so far so good. Okay, wait, perfect. It is it is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Wait, we're going to turn off match rotation and we're going to set the length to like, okay, and it looks like maybe the block we actually used is a little bit too heavy. It is not really liking the block we used. <laughs> but you know what? There is an easy fix for that and that is just use no blocks at all because less blocks just means less lag. All right, so I just did the exact same thing and believe it or not, the entire thing right here is actually unanchored. So I walk into it. Yeah, as you can see, it actually moves. It is just not causing any lag right now. Like what? That is not exactly what I expected it to do. Now, let's set the length to like three. Oh, okay. The whole thing is shrinking. Oh, oh wait, the top it is. Okay, the... <laughs> It is not loving the top, but that right there is actually working insanely well. So now that we know everything is working according to plan, I think we can actually start making the slingshot. All right, so here we go. We have two pieces of plastic, and in between there, we have ourselves a bunch of bars. And to really make sure we can give this thing a proper launch, I'm going to use a ton of springs. Now, these are going to have to be quite strong springs, but... I'm going to set those settings later. So here we go. We're going to place a spring from there all the way to the fabric like so. And we're going to do that for every single one of the layers. And we're going to do that for every single one of the layers. All right. Now, just because I am really curious to see what is going to happen. Let's try it out like this. So we're going to anchor everything except for the stuff holding things in place. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, nothing happened. We're going to set the target length of the springs to less. Oh, yes. Now it's pulling. It's starting to pull. Now, if we set the length of all of this stuff right here to a little bit longer, like an eight, we should be able to really get a good tug on it. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Dude, look at that. We have created the back of a giant slingshot. Dude, this looks so cool. Now, actually, I'm pretty sure if you want this thing to work like a real slingshot, we should only pull from one place. So... Let's delete all of our springs except for one. And now it should almost create like a bit of a pocket back there. Yeah, just like so. Oh my God. Now let's see. What happens if I delete this? Boom! And launch! <laughs> okay, now currently nothing is quite tight enough to really launch anything. So we're going to have to get things really freaking tight. And actually to make sure this entire thing will actually launch to the end, I made sure to put it at 45 degrees. So that way, you know, we get a good trajectory right there. All right, let's see if we can actually fly to the end. Now, first off, we're going to make sure to pull everything super tight with these two giant springs here in the back. Okay. So when I drop everything, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> everything gets pulled towards the back. Now, all we have to do is sit right there in the chair. Oh my God, things are completely glitching out. Uh, all we're gonna have to do is sit right there in the chair. And the moment we flick the lever, these two giant springs are on the side are gonna pull us forward and hopefully launching us towards the end like a slingshot. Now, I have no idea if this is actually gonna work. So here we go. Let's try it out. Three, two, one, go! Flick. Did I flick it? Flick it. Flick it. I flicked it. Oh, Oh, the ever We just fell through the... I think I might... <laughs> I think I might have made the holes in the fabric a little bit too big. But actually, that is something I can easily fix. Just set it to 
four, uh, five, okay? Maximum hole size is gonna be five. Dude, if this actually works, my mind is gonna be blown. <laughs> Okay, now the entire thing, yeah, it is already glitching quite a bit, but that's fine. Oh my goodness, dude, what have I created here? Wait, oh my god, wait, oh my god, wait, what have I done? Wait, the whole game is crashing! Okay, we're gonna just flick the lever, flick! Hey! What the hell? I didn't mean to do that! I, I made it, we've got a problem, this is not what I meant to do! Did I fix it? I think I might have fixed it, okay. Don't set the number to too low. <laughs> eight okay we're gonna just go with eight all right here we go let's try this one more time now i want to minimize the glitching right here but it seems like it's almost like a little bit unavoidable all right then here we go three two one flick launch let's go come on is it uh <laughs> well, look at that oh <laughs> uh, yeah well it seems like this technique right here it's gonna just be a little bit too laggy to actually launch anything but I mean, you can still do a lot of cool stuff for a show, so I think it's safe to say that Fabric is quite a cool addition to build a boat. 